of savage Jamaican cuisine. Now for today, we will be doing Jamaican beef patties. Yes, Jamaican beef patties. So if you're out of the Jamaican diaspora and you think you might be missing a piece of home, not to worry, we got you covered. Today we'll be doing um, this meal because it's I particularly love Jamaican patties and it's something I've always been doing. And many people have been asking me to do a video in regards to this. And of course, we know Jamaican patties will be a meal of out of colonialism. So therefore, it's a mix of the Indian culture and African culture whereby, you know, the cumin and the curry powder come together and we infuse some cayenne pepper in that as well so that comes together with some grounded meat into a nice pastry and that's how we get a jamaican beef patty so here we are now come on, on, on the other side and let me show you what one at the kitchen So welcome back and here I am just showing you all the ingredients you need to from making your dough into doing the filling for the beef patties. So here we have about two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We have some sugar, we have salt, we have a Maggi vegetable bouillon, we have Jamaican curry powder which is the better part and we have some cumin powder and baking powder. Now to get that flaky consistency in your patties you want to use as much butter as possible so i'll be using regular cold butter as well as buttermilk so this just give um a, an adequate amount of flake into your dough right um so i'm going to now show you guys the ingredients for the filling now we're doing beef patties so of course we have grounded beef here we have some chopped um carrots and red green and yellow bell, bell peppers we have some scotch bonnet pepper as well now this bad boy here guys you might be wondering what this is this is a mix of um my green season i normally use this for me practically all of my dishes this is just a mix of um escalion we have onion we have ginger we have garlic we have cilantro and we have a bit of scotch bonnet pepper in here that's pretty much it guys nothing major just that so also i'll be using some dry thyme into the filling i'll be using um soya sauce this is um black pepper we have beef seasoning here we have um a blend of um cayenne pepper here we have tomato ketchup this is my special condiment that i use into flavoring the beef as well we have some browning and we have some breadcrumbs which give body to the filling of your patty so guys we're gonna get into the dough so i'll see you back in a bit all right so welcome back guys so here i'm going to be doing the dough for the patty right so here we have all our dry ingredients put together so as i mentioned we have some flour we have um two tablespoons of sugar to this we have um, a teaspoon of salt we have some turmeric and some curry powder here as well as the baking powder so what i'm going to do is to add now one maggie vegetable bouillon you just want to break this up um to get it into the dough so i'm just going to break this up here and then i'm going to whisk everything together to uh, you know incorporate all the seasons together into the flour all right guys so i'm just going to mix all of this together you want to ensure everything combines well in order to get that perfect dough all right so i'm just mixing up everything here all right guys so once all your ingredients is incorporated together it should look something like this so it all combined together so and i'm going to be adding some cold butter into the dough and then i'm going to be using oh wow this is like about um 250 grams of butter yes i'll be using this amount for now if i do need more then um the bottom will could substitute for that so i'm going to be using my hand this is where your hands get dirty guys i'm going to be incorporating the butter into the flour until i get a breadcrumb consistency all right lovely people so we are back here so this is what i'm talking about your dough should now be looking like this once you have you know incorporated your butter into your dough so we have this nice breadcrumb consistency here so now i'm going to be adding um my buttermilk into the dough and i'm going to roll i'm going to you know incorporate this well and then form the dough and then i'll see you back in a bit 
All right, so this is also very important, guys. In forming your dough, you have to ensure you use a fork first in order to incorporate it well, because you don't want to overwork the dough. Because if you do overwork the dough, then you'll get the, you'll realize that your patty is not as flaky as you want it. So you want to use a fork, add in your milk, little by little, in here, and just bring it together. Once you have, you know, it, you incorporated everything well, then you start to use your hands to form the dough. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. All right, guys, so we are back here. And as you can see, the dough is all rolled out. And after all the work done, your dough should look something like this. So what I'm now going to do is to wrap this in some cling wrap and put it into the refrigerator for a minimum of 30 to 45 minutes. So we can have that, you know, the dough chilled. Then we can have it rolled out. So I'm just getting this put away, guys. So we can start working on the filling for the dough. So as you can see guys, we just wrap this well and we put it into the refrigerator. Alright, so welcome back guys. So the dough has been set aside into the refrigerator so we can have it ready to have it rolled out to put the filling in. Now I'm working on the filling here. So um as you can see, we have our veggies um, been cooking, well, cooking up here. So, of course, this is very simple. So, it's a, we put them for three heat with two, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We had our chopped um, ingredients, as I mentioned earlier, which is the carrot, the bell pepper, and the sauce bun is the first one. And I also add two tablespoons of the, the green paste that I need for most of my cooking. And now I'm going to add also about a tablespoon of my grounded um, cayenne pepper here. We don't want to have it too spicy, but of course, it's a Jamaican thing and we love spice, so of course, this should be good. So I had this and I'm going to incorporate all of this right here and I'm going to leave it for about 30 seconds. So all of these flavors can infuse together and then I'm going to add my grounded beef to that. Alright guys, so we're just keeping this here for 30 seconds here, so this can incorporate it. And I kid you not, the flavor coming from here is so amazing. I wish you guys were able to smell what I'm smelling here. Alright? So after my 30 seconds, you should have something looking like this. So now I'm going, yeah, so it should be looking like this. You know, everything incorporated well. You know, you're blended seasoning with your first seasoning and all of that. Right, and the cayenne paste as well. So now I'm going to be adding my grounded beef. Just you know, break this up into my slight small pieces and incorporate it with the veg as well. You don't want to add too much, well, I don't really add much water to this because pretty, the beef itself, once it's cooking, it also releases water. You don't want to add too much water to it, but if I do need to add And now I'm going to add a little bit of um, black pepper to this. Just a little bit. Because there is enough spice already in there, so we add in a little bit to here. As you can see guys, grounded beef doesn't take a long time to cook. So we don't want to have it overcooking too much here. So as you can see, and how do you know when your beef is cooked? You can see that all where all that pink thickness in the meat is gone and you can save it in some bigger like this. That's all you know that your beef is cooked. So now I'm gonna be adding some soy sauce to this for added flavor and color. This is like about um a tablespoon as well. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of browning, not too much, just a little bit of the of this browning. Incorporate that and then the final thing that I had with my ketchup and to give some thickness to the beef, I will also add um, the bread to that. So yeah, guys, this is smelling so good. This is really smelling really really amazing. So now is the time where I am going to go ahead and to add about a tablespoon of ketchup as well to that. This is where I'm going to be adding a little bit of the breadcrumbs to get that thickness into the beef. So 
you can see why all those juices coming out and the smell is really 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 amazing so I will add a small portion of red sand to this first of all I'm going to give a little body to the beans so sit back about and maybe two and a half to three um, tablespoons of the red sand as you can see has automatically as a bust some ham we had it we had it here we realize that the meat becomes so thick and this is what you want the ground that needs to be so thick so when you have it to the filling you know it's not running so yeah this is the consistency you're looking for guys so I'm just gonna leave it for 30 seconds and then that should be it so we are back and our dough is set for the patty so what i'm going to do now is to start the rolling out process of the dough so as you can see i'm removing the cling wrap the other side so what i'm going to do now is to cut my dough as i told you i want to have nine patties out of this i'm going to cut it into nine small pieces so i can have it rolled out of course you're going to need a flat surface to roll out the dough and you're gonna flour the surface as well. So I'm cut, just cutting out nine pieces. So I'll see you back when the rolling process starts. All right, so guys, as you can see, the patties are ready for the oven. So what I did was just base the top of this with some egg wash. Um, egg wash typically is just egg and some water and you remove the eye of the egg from it. So I just base these and now I'm gonna flip them in the oven at 180 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. So we do like so, like so, we get them in. And after 15 to 20 minutes, guys, you will see the end results of the Jamaican beef patties. So until then, I see you on the end of this. All right guys, so here we are, the final result of Jamaican beef patties. So yeah, as I told you, it went in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. This actually went to 18 minutes. So after 18 minutes, I took them out and they were perfect. So this is the end result of everything, guys. So of course, stay tuned to our channel and be sure to stick around. Tell a friend about what is happening on this side because we have good things happening over on this side. Of course, go ahead, subscribe and like and spread the word because hey, we are here and we're keeping it simply awesome. So, of course, thank you again for tuning to Savvy Jamaican Cuisine. And until the next video, peace, I'm out.